That's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meg McLeod. Here's a quick look at some of our top stories. Frankenmuth is celebrating the reopening of its ice rink. The celebration features a chuck -a puck for prizes, a warming tent with hot chocolate and adult beverages, and an appearance by Sammy from the Saginaw Spirit. Jamie Furbush with the Frankenmuth Chamber of Commerce says the rink has a little something for everyone. When it's $10 to skate, the pass is good all day. Um, we do have season passes available as well for $50, um, but in the warming house, it's a nice place. Parents can kind of sit and watch their kids and uh, not freeze while their kids are having a good time. <laughs> Following the fun on the ice, organizers will host a tree lighting ceremony at 7 tonight. The ice rink at Zender Park is open until the end of February. A big turkey giveaway for families in need. Michigan Health Clinic in Saginaw will be giving away 300 birds tomorrow to ensure they can have a Thanksgiving meal. It starts at 10 tomorrow morning at the clinic's location on Fortune Boulevard near McCarty Road. Those looking to take the bus in Saginaw on Thanksgiving will have to find another way to get around. The Saginaw Transit Authority Regional Services announced today there will be no bus services starting the Wednesday before the holiday at 7 p.m. STARS says buses will be back on the streets on Black Friday starting at 6 a.m. And now here's Chris with a look at our forecast. Meg, we've got some snow showers passing through tonight. It appears some of those are locally heavy, leading to rapidly changing conditions out on area roads. Expecting these to lead to some quick accumulations. And while they won't be huge numbers wise, they will lead to some slippery roads. And even with warm ground temperatures, we'll be able to overcome that and cause some snow covered surfaces. We're seeing some heavier showers as of 630 around the Flint area into the Tri Cities region and also around Gratiot County. So that is something we'll have to watch as we work through tonight. It's all lake affected at this point and we'll likely see that continue at times tomorrow and even on Saturday. Once we get to Sunday, that's when things will start to improve. Our visibility values are dropping quickly in some areas, even less than a mile and in the heaviest snow showers, maybe even dropping to less than one half of a mile. So be very careful tonight. Hour by hour shows that as we go through the rest of the evening late tonight, we'll largely see those snow showers come to an end, but then they'll pick right back up again Friday afternoon, likely seeing less coverage Friday compared to what we're seeing today, but they'll still be around, so keep that in mind if traveling tomorrow. All the way through midnight on Saturday, note the uh, sporadic nature of these snowfall totals. An inch here, two inches there, less than an inch in many parts of mid-Michigan, so these totals will be highly variable. I think the best chance to pick up over an inch will be along I-69 in some of our western counties. Low temperatures tonight, teens and 20s, highs tomorrow, back in the low to mid-30s. Temperatures only get colder into the weekend. We're in the 20s both Saturday and Sunday. We do warm up again early next week. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.